will be uh, looking to get that top spot on the podium as well. Well, let's go straight down to the shooting line for the first recurve women's semi-final. Haile Gant of China on target number one, getting a very polite round of applause, but Lisa Barbalan here had the crowd roaring right from the beginning. Promises to be a very interesting matchup with the crowd pretty much all behind Barbalan. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, the situation with the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. We've already had Penny Healy of Great Britain and Lim Sion of Korea win stages. They're qualified by winning a stage. Points qualifiers so far, Peng Chia Mao from Chinese Taipei, Anki Zhan of China, and these two matches have a big bearing on what's gonna happen for Mexico, and as Barbalan gets things off with a solid nine. Yeah, and then once again, these first arrows on the finals venue uh, will also be very important to uh, note for their sight setting but also um, if they're feeling anything different on the finals venue um, and i think for lisa this will be getting used to the the atmosphere uh, of shooting uh, in front of a home crowd absolutely this is a opportunity offered to very few archers shooting not only at a Honda Archery World Cup final, but at the very place where they potentially could be shooting at the Olympic Games next year. Barbalan getting off the mark and putting the first set out of reach with a 29. So solid start from Lisa Barbalan doing just what she needs to. I mean, there's an element here that, of course, the whole crowd are behind, well, pretty much all of the crowd are behind Barbalan, but that in itself can come with some pressure. Yeah, it can, and um, uh, I don't know if for Lisa it brings pressure or just confidence, because it looks like uh, when her name was announced, she was kind of taking it all in and, uh, you know, waving to, to well, all of the crowd. Um, and now as well, she her name is being chanted by the, by the crowd. Um, but I think she's probably more enjoying it than uh, yeah, feeling it as an added pressure. Yeah, I mean, she sort of burst onto the scene a couple of years back. Uh, she's a brilliant character for the sport as a whole, uh, but she does seem to enjoy the big occasion. So far, so good for the French spectators here in Paris. Of course, they're all getting a taste of what it's going to be like next year at the Olympic Games. Yeah, surely there's going to be an, an even larger stage for the audience to sit in. Um, so this will only be well, the, the tip of the iceberg uh, for that. Yeah, But of course, they're, they're not only enjoying this opportunity, uh, which very few archers get to uh, shoot on this uh, Olympic test event and get an experience of what the conditions and the atmosphere is going to be like. But they're thinking about the, the uh, Islander Archer, Archery World Cup finals in Hermosilio at the beginning of next month. Uh, as I said, Healy and uh, Lim, Great Britain and Korea, qualified by winning stages. In fact, Lim Sion burst onto the stage, uh, the international stage this season, winning two Islander Archery World Cup stages. And after qualification, we knew that Peng Chiamao of Chinese Taipei and Anki Zhan of China qualify. And I'm right in thinking that uh, Barbalan and uh, Hai both have chances of qualifying here. Of course, if they win, they're going to Mexico. Yeah, and at this point, um, 
I think for Lisa, what she needs to do is channel all of that adrenaline that you get from uh, from that crowd, channeling it into uh, and try to make it into focus, which is not necessarily an easy thing to do, um, but it is possible. And this, uh, what we saw well yesterday from Joseph Bozanski, that's exactly what he tried to try to do. Critical arrow here from Haile Gunn. And with that nine opening the door for Lisa to uh, grab this second set if she manages to shoot a 10. She does just that and look what it means to a 4-0 lead for Barbaland. Popular, of course, on the circuit, but with the home crowd behind her, she looks massively fired up. High began looking uh, pretty determined herself here. She's a little bit annoyed by the looks of things. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's necessarily annoyance or more uh, being intimidated, maybe, by uh, just the, the wall of sound that comes from the audience and, uh, well, shooting a very good end in there. 28 uh, and then getting bested by her opponent with a 29 but um, yeah for sure something uh, her face was saying something about the way she was feeling well for Hailey Gann she's got to try and block all this out as Lisa Barbalan just soaks up the atmosphere here I mean, it's a, a rare and uh, very few athletes get this opportunity, but for Lisa Barbalan, extra special, really. I mean, this could, even if she wasn't to win this match, this could fuel her motivation uh, in the run-up to Paris. Yeah, she knows now how fun it is to uh, compete in front of her home crowd. Um, obviously, she probably has done it before, but I mean... Um, this is very much um, a general repetition for the uh, Olympics if she manages to qualify for that with her uh, internal selection procedure. Haile Gann edging closer to the 10 with that first arrow. Wow. And I mean, it's not that she is um, coping okay with uh, the, the you know added pressure of the home crowd as we uh, put it before she's just shooting very very high scores regardless of if she's shooting in uh, Paris or Shanghai or Medellin it doesn't matter where she is um, right now she is shooting very high scores an eight from high presents another opportunity but wow uh, a seven means that they're actually tied on points in this set with one arrow to go. But once again, that door has been open. And uh, like in the previous end, if Lisa manages to get this into the 10 ring, she gets the set and therefore the match. And she does adjust that. So despite a seven with her second arrow, Lisa Barbalan has taken the set and with it a nine arrow win in the first semi-final. Absolutely delighted with that. And in front of her home crowd who are equally delighted. The polite handshake and hug, but uh, well, she can barely contain her emotions, Lisa Barbalan. And that's a great thing to see. Yeah, I, I like it when people show their emotions and don't try to block everything away. Um, although, uh, it has to be said, for some people, that's what they need to do. Um, and that's what works best for them in a situation like this. Uh, some people go, uh, they do the best when they just try to block as much away. Um, and then some people do better if they just kind of take it all in and, and you know, show everything that's happening in their head. The adoring crowd cheering Lisa Barbalan off. 
Tricolor waving furiously.